Let's talk about microclimates. Now, microclimates in your greenhouse. What that means is that there are different areas in your greenhouse that have different light intensities and different temperatures. For example, you know, you're, um, you're standing next to a pond in, in your backyard and notice that sometimes it's really cooler next to that pond or you're, um, you have a fire going out in the backyard and you'll notice you know, you're warm facing the fire, but behind you, you're cool. You end up kind of doing the little shimmy where you turn back and forth because you're either too hot or too cold. And you can feel, you know, right next to that one spot, there's, uh, you know, there's heat next to the fire, but it's cold, you know, a couple of feet away. The same thing happens in the greenhouse. This happens because of the, uh, the angle of the polycarbonate, the way the sun's hitting it, uh, any, uh, the frame uh, blocking the sun. Uh, any external shade that's blocking the sun, these cause, you know, causes little uneven patterns in your greenhouse. And it also, just because the way the, the temperature reacts inside the greenhouse, you're going to have usually next to your floor, down low, it's going to be cooler than up high in the greenhouse. Uh, towards the back of the greenhouse, it's going to depend on the angle of the sun. Sometimes that back wall is hot, other times a little bit up on the back wall it's cooler. So you know you want to determine what's hot and what's cold in different places of your greenhouse and everybody's is unique because if you're going to maximize the growth in your greenhouse you know the stuff that you plant down low needs to be things that are going to do better in cooler. If you're going to have hanging plants up in the greenhouse those are ones that are going to be able to handle heat because it's going to be hotter up there. Another thing to take into consideration is you know, there's external factors inside your greenhouse that affect, uh, you know, what the temps do, where your vents are, uh, which vents have automatic openers, what, where your heater is positioned if you're using a heater. These are all going to affect different areas. And so you need to kind of figure out, hey, you know, where in my greenhouse is it hot, where is it cold? Now, you don't have to get, you know, I, I've, seen, I've seen some charting and some, some preparations to figure out exactly where you know, every inch of your greenhouse, you know, grids and running grid strings and hanging min-max thermometers throughout, taking, you know, charting it different times of the day, each hourly charts for, for weeks at a time to determine, you know, exactly where and when, um, you know, each little inch of your greenhouse is, is different temperature. As far as I'm concerned, and the, the way that, that I use a greenhouse, the way most people that that we work with use the greenhouse, that's a little bit overkill. You know, uh, a simple min-max thermometer or, hey, just walk in your greenhouse different times a day and just kind of pay attention. You know, which areas in my greenhouse are hot and cold and, and you know, use them, you know, use them to the best of the, of the ability. I mean, if you've got a, a, a tomato plant that's going to need more sun and maybe handles more heat, you know, set it in a position where it versus you know, where it's not going to have that. Don't set it down, you know, back in a corner or something that's shaded uh, because it's going to do much better if you take advantage of the microclimate in the greenhouse. And one other thing to, to remember with that is there's also microclimates right outside the greenhouse. Uh, so if you're doing bedding outside the greenhouse or you're moving and you're planting right next to your greenhouse, remember that that greenhouse is going to be shading and blocking wind and I guess depending on some extreme angles, you may even be getting a little bit of uh, extra light diffusion coming through right there in that spot. So just planting right next to the greenhouse on one side of the greenhouse versus right next to it on the other side is going to be a completely different climate. So you don't have to get too scientific, but just kind of pay attention and you know, think it through and place your plants accordingly.